Yo, welcome back. It's 242 here again with another Minecraft video. I thought I would do a sort of quick tree update on the uh, on the tree breeding. I'll probably try and cut this video a lot just to cut out the boring the boring bits. I'm really hinging on getting uh, the chestnut trees for my seed oil. So before I do much more on the Magic Island, I really want to get the chestnut trees going, but as it takes a while for them to grow every time, uh, I can't wait around and do videos in between or anything like that. So I thought I'd just quickly do an update here, plant the next lot, uh, and then I'll, I'll hopefully try and cut the video together so that you'll see all the stages all in this one video. So as you can see, a couple of videos ago, we planted our uh, silver lime and oak over this side and our birch, well, our silver birch and uh, silver lime over this side in the hopes that we would get some, I think cherry is the next one. So I've got a few grafters. As you can see, there's a few uh, leaves that have decided to be turned. So we'll just grab a bunch of these. Hopefully, we will get some of what we're after. And if not, we're going to have to, I don't know, do the whole thing again, I guess. It should work. It should work. I can't, I can't imagine why it wouldn't work. Oh, that was a... Oh, there we go. Pink. What are they? Hill cherry saplings. That's what we want. So we've got a few different things here. A bunch of silver limes came back out, obviously with slightly different traits. We do have our two hill cherries that we were after. Uh, and a third one even. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, so that's just one side. So that was the side with the birches. Let's see how we went over this side. Yeah, none yet. Ah, there we go. So one from that side as well. So it seems that it doesn't really matter how you want to breed these. You just need to have your silver lime combined again with either one of the first uh, two things that you start with. I think that might be the end of my... Yeah, the end of the saplings. Let's run to our little sapling thing. Now, I've got a lot of different silver limes here. All different types. I might just hold on to them. Uh, we've even got a couple more common beach. I'm going to need to upgrade this that chest. So, oh, and I'm out of grafters. So I'll just quickly grab some more grafters. We'll chop the rest of these down. Now, I did actually program in the grafter recipe. As I said uh, the other time, I'm not really at a point where I'm going to be able to make the thormium grafter and get the repair enchant on it. Uh, I will bother. I will make one eventually, uh, but I need to. I need to get a bit further with thorncraft first. Uh, get the enchanting thing working. Maybe do a little bit of Ars Magica and Bibliocraft to help me along with that. Uh, but for now, I really need to get this uh, this bee and fuel situation sorted before I run out. I'd really like to just sort it and then not have to worry about it again. Well, it doesn't look like I'm getting too many more. Alright, that's probably... Oh, there's another one. No, nah, see. We've... All right. So, how many did we get in the end? Only four hill cherry saplings. That's okay. We can we can deal with that because we need to plant silver lime and hill cherry next. So let's just chop these down. And we'll get rid of these 
these ones as well. Now that we have some hill cherries, we could just grow the hill cherries by themselves uh, to get some extra saplings. In fact, I might plant one of them somewhere else just to try and boost the sapling numbers. And then I can plant three in the uh, mixed configuration that I normally do. So let's just plant him there. I'm not actually sure how big these things grow. I might just very quickly grab my, where is it, the trealizer. Okay. One height, smaller. Okay, so I don't know if that means smaller in terms of it's a smaller hill cherry or smaller as in smaller from all the trees overall. Uh, yield average savannas. Now I don't really know what a lot of those other ones are. I know there are many, many tutorials out there though. So I will keep planting that one there. Um, I'll try and just get rid of some of these. So what I'll do is we'll get our one there. Then we go one, two to there, and then one, two to there, and then the other one can go there. So that's where I'm going to plant those ones, and then we will have our silver lime. Oh, I really want the purebred silver limes, unfortunately. Did I have any purebred? Going to have to scan some. Okay, so that one's a silver lime. That one's not. That one's not. Wow, a lot of these are mixed. In fact, all of them are mixed except for that one. Okay, so we will plant that one there. Okay, so we have... Ah, purebred silver line, 4-4. Four, four. Okay, that's what we want. So what I might do is I'll get these planted. I'll... Uh, cut the video shortly, clear the rest of these leaves away, and I'll come back to it once these have grown, and hopefully we've got our next cross that we need. Uh, and if we we're lucky in that, I think there's only one more cross to do before we get the chestnut tree we're after. And from there, we can finally get to getting our seed oil and other bits and pieces that we, we want to get our bee production up. All right, so uh, I'll be back in a second. So as you can see, I'm back and uh, a bit of time has passed in the game the trees have now grown uh, actually quite a bit of time has passed in the game uh, it's actually a, a new day in real life so these have well and truly grown we've got a lot more butterflies here yeah, quite a lot more butterflies around now uh, we've got our nice mutated leaf blocks so they should probably drop some do um, some good saplings for us Interestingly enough, this other tree over here that I planted away from everything also has some mutated uh, leaf blocks. So I'm now thinking that they don't even need to be touching each other to, to get the mutations happening. So for the next cross, I might just do a bit of an experiment and put some, I don't know, maybe some down the middle and uh, put the others away from it somewhere and see if they still get the mutations done. Now the other quick change that I've made is on my power fist, you can see the icon down the bottom changes, you know, to my you know railgun wrench the lux thing the hoe i found that there is actually a a grafter module for it which i've installed on it but it doesn't show down the bottom and what that does is i can just break this with my fist or with the power glove and i get a sapling so that was a silver lime sapling out of my uh, cherry tree so let's just get another one something just hit me Probably a butterfly. Alright, so let's just break a couple more and see what we get. So we're definitely getting saplings out of all of these. So I get another hill cherry and another hill cherry. A wild cherry. Okay, so there's two different sorts of cherry. I wasn't I wasn't aware of that. Uh, a common walnut already. So yeah, it looks like we don't need to have these touching at all, which is something I didn't actually realise uh, before this. So let's cut a few more of these down. 
we're getting a lot of cherries out of this as well, which is really good to see. So hopefully once we get to the stage of having uh, walnuts and chestnuts, they'll be giving us a lot of the uh, fruit as well, which will obviously help with our seed oil production. So what are we going to look? 20. Oops, I don't want that. 20 cherries already, and we have... Oh, cherry, a bunch of silver lime, lemon, a lemon, a lemon sapling. I didn't know you could get that. Three common walnuts. So cool. We have our, we have our walnuts coming in, which is what we wanted. Uh, I'm not sure how many more of these I actually want to break. I wouldn't mind breaking some of these ones. Nah, they don't seem to be doing much. So it seems the mutated blocks are pretty much on the cherry side of things rather than on the silver lime side of things and wow there really are a lot of them that have mutated a whole lot I'm almost yeah I'm not able to pick up anymore all right so I might I've upgraded this chest as well to try and you know offset so let's just throw everything in there I might have to do a bit of sort out I'll I'll do that off camera, uh, do a bit of sort out of that, scan them all maybe, and uh, throw a bunch out. <clears throat> so all I'm really looking for here is some walnuts. So I, I have a few walnuts, that's that's all I really wanted. So I can I can cut these down now. Now this is, there's almost too many butterflies. I never thought I would say that, but they are actually making it hard to... Fly, they're flying in front of my uh, axe while I'm trying to cut things down. So wow, that is a lot of a lot of cherries. I wonder if you can make seed oil out of cherries. Mm. Not sure. Chestnuts are supposed to be the best for seed oil, so I'll leave it at that. Okay, wow. So we're still getting saplings. Now the next cross that we actually want is. Uh, silver lime, and, and actually if they don't have to be touching, I could just plant some silver limes over here. Look at them, they're all lined up on this edge. So I want my, my purebred silver limes, uh, where are they? I'm sure I had some. So that one's a purebred one. There's a stack of six there, let's... So eight common walnuts all stacked with each other. Wow, a stack and a bit of cherries and I just chopped the logs down for that. That's um, crazy. Okay, tree, uh, tree Eliza is what we want. And we want that one. Silver lime, silver lime. So what is the difference between these two then? Oh, nothing. They're just scanned and not scanned. Okay, so we end up with a, with a nice stack there. Wow, that is a... <laughs> wow. Okay, so if I ever need cherries for anything, they um, they drop a lot of cherries. I don't know whether they're used for, like, fruit juice. I'm going to have to do some experimenting with these cherries and see what they're actually used for. Okay, but in the meantime, we need to plant our silver limes. So let's... Let's plant a few over here. Maybe one there. I'm going to leave a slightly bigger gap this time. One, two, you say three? Yeah, one, two, three. Sure, looks good to me. And now we want to plant our walnuts in the middle. I am just amazed at how much. Uh... Ah, now I can't use this to break anymore. I'll get saplings every single time, which is. Dare I say it, a few too many saplings. I'm really looking at having to clean and tidy it all up. Now the other thing I've not tried on these before is bone meal. I'm always wary of using bone meal on non-vanilla trees. I've had some bad results. There's a couple of trees I know that if you use bone meal on it just destroys the tree. And uh, I think it was the ender lily pearls, the ender seeds. Well, one, two, three. I reckon we're going to get four full stacks out of that, and that was what? Three over there and one over here. So that was four. 
four cherry trees and four and a bit. So it's just over a stack of cherries per tree that you that you plant. That's just crazy. Okay, so we want to get our common walnut. Let's put these. I wonder what the difference with wild cherry is as well. Could be another interesting thing to try out. Okay, so these things I think are bigger. So let's. I might just. I'll scan one. I hate the way things that are scanned and not scanned, you know, don't stack with each other. Yeah, two by two. So I don't know if that means we need to plant them two by two. These days you generally don't have to, so that means they're probably going to be quite large. Let's put one there. And then let's grow another one. There. Now I will go and quickly try and throw that knee out. No. I'm going to grab some bone meal and um, see what the story is. So, oh, as you can see, I was doing some work uh, with some safari net stuff. Uh, bone. Lots of bones. Bone meal. Let's get a stack of that. Let's go and see if this works. Now I'll still uh, do this off camera with the uh, the pollination because it does take a while. So let's go and try this one. Oh no, that works. Someone's hitting me. No, they're not hitting me. The tree grew into a butterfly. I think it was hitting the butterfly. All right, so it does grow them from that. Now, what about these? Depending on which one is the top left, I'm just using up. Wow, that's... All right, let's try something else. Let's go for... All right. Wow. Okay, that's a pretty pretty big tree. I don't think I'm going to need that one anymore. And maybe not that one either. I'm wondering if I should just leave the one tree cuz I don't think I've built my area my area big enough for that. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to Yeah, see that grew into the poor butterfly. Oh well. That'll be fine. And that one there is just, yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, so I'm going to cut this here once more. I'll probably sit right over in this corner, face the other corner so I can cut nicely. All right, so I will cut this here and be back in a little bit. And we're back. And as you can see, we have quite a few of the leaf blocks are turning again. So I'm going to get straight into it and cut some of these and hopefully we'll get our saplings that we're after. So there's a walnut. And what we're looking for is hopefully some chestnuts. So we're getting some walnuts. We've got silver lime, hill cherry, common walnut. More common walnut. Put that over here. Silver lime, hill cherry. We're not looking very hopeful so far, actually. Let's keep cutting. How are we doing? Sweet chestnut, there we go, that's what we're after. So that's probably one of the hardest uh, crosses that I've had. Normally I've had the 
sapling that I wanted drop fairly quickly. Uh, that one there definitely took a bit longer than I was expecting. And we still only have, yeah, we only have two of those. So we've got walnut, walnut. Quite a few walnuts as well. That's pretty good. So now all that really remains to do is we need to get this into a uh, breeding situation, not a breeding situation, a, um, a production situation, uh, preferably with golems or something over on our magic island. I will chase that up in, uh, in the next episode probably. I'm going to wrap up the tree breeding here. We've gone all the way through one of the chains uh, through to chestnut, which I believe is the end of that particular chain. There we've got three there. More walnuts, more walnuts, and a lot more cherries. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the rest of these down, but I'm gonna take that as a success, getting to chestnuts. And uh, next episode, we'll start work on on the farm and on the production side of things, and then hopefully we'll be getting our seed oil and getting our uh, wood that we need for. Um, the impregnated sticks, and we've already got our our string uh, from our golem farm, and then that's probably it. We'll have frames going into our alviaries, and our oil and fuel will have a much better production. So I'll see you next episode, and thanks for watching.